and I struggled with infertility. Um, it was uh, it was a, a painful and heart wrenching struggle to get pregnant. Um, and I, after a couple of years of treatment, found myself pregnant. Um, not found myself pregnant. I successfully got pregnant, um, uh, which very quickly turned to terror. Uh, the, we weren't sure what was going on. We weren't sure why. Uh, the, why, in spite of having what's called a blighted ovum, so there was no heartbeat, um, why I was continuing to produce pregnancy hormones, why I, was I wasn't having a miscarriage. And my doctor grew worried, wasn't really sure, he couldn't find any evidence of another pregnancy, but felt it was very important that, that we stop searching for the answer and go to the solution. And the solution, and the only solution for me, um, to protect my fertility, to make it possible for me to have the three children that I had, was to, to um, make a very quick decision to have an abortion, to have a medical abortion. And, um, and it was the last thing I wanted. You know, I didn't go into this process thinking that, um, that, that abortion was ever gonna be a choice that I was gonna have to make. Um, but not having to, to worry about whether or not my county insurance, at the time I was a county employee, would cover it, um, made a huge difference. Um, not having to worry about, you know, how much does this cost? Do I have enough money? What am I gonna do? Am, you know, can I pay the rent this month? Um, you know, that, that's, that's the reality for, for families all over the state, whether we're talking about poor women who depend on Medicaid or state employees who, who are, are connected to our state health insurance system. If this had happened now as a state employee, we don't know whether or not there would have been coverage.